How's it going? Dylan Gallagher here for another thing to think about this morning as you get your day going or whenever you're watching this. Uh, every business owner, every entrepreneur wants to make a lot of money. And in order to do that, they build a product, they build a service, they deliver it to the marketplace. And then as life goes along, they realize that they've got competition. And one of the lowest hanging fruit for solving your problem with competition is dropping your price. If you can be cheaper than somebody else, the, the logic goes we should win more of the market. Um, but in my experience, that doesn't always prove to be the best strategy that you should be taking. If you have to compete on price, it means that your particular, the value and the experience that you're providing to your customers, your clients, isn't strong enough to support the price that you're asking for. The quick example I always think of is, I think of, um, well, let me get my headline out of the way. So this morning, I, I had tagged a story, I think from a week ago, and it says, Apple Music quietly added a 99 annual subscription plan. So if you're familiar with the Apple Music program, the subscription service, you're paying $4.99 if you're a student per month, you're paying $9.99 if you're just an individual or, or like me, you'd be paying $14.99 if you've got a family plan. Well now Apple Music, to compete with Spotify, has offered a $99 annual subscription plan. So that just got me thinking about this whole issue of pricing. And one of the products, one of the things I always think about is I think about the Samsung Galaxy and I think about the iPhone. The iPhone generates a higher margin per product compared to the Galaxy. Now to make up for it, the Galaxy hopes that they can just sell more. So for example, if Apple makes $500 a phone, it needs to sell one phone to make 500 bucks. If Samsung makes $250 a phone, they have to sell two phones for every one phone that Apple's selling. So that's the basic rationale around pricing. Now the thought process goes, yeah, but if you can sell more, you're, you're going to sell more $250 phones um, than $500 phones, or, or phones that make you $250 per instead of $500 per. And that's true if you're Walmart or if you're Amazon. But if you are a plumber, if you are a social media consultant, if you are a lawyer, if you are a small or a medium-sized business that doesn't have that kind of scale, then competing on price is usually one of the worst variables to complete to compete on. Instead of competing on price, what a smaller medium-sized business should be doing is saying, well, wait a minute, for everything that we have in our business, the assets that we have, the resources that we have, the people, the knowledge, the experience, the history, what we need to do is we need to figure out how do we package all of that up so that it delivers an enormous amount of value to the customer through the experience that our business provides them. If you think of the iPhone, closed system, um, uh, tight software, um, you know, you know beautiful, it's beautiful, in my opinion, it's beautiful, and I know that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I get that, but they're making 500 bucks a phone every time they sell one. Now, when you think about it at a very basic level, it's a device, it's a screen, it's a processor, it's got apps on it. How come Apple can generate so much more money per device than Samsung making a Galaxy? And I mean, we could pick this apart in any, I mean, pick an automobile, pick an article of clothing, pick a watch, pick any electronic device. The logic is still the same. At the end of the day, when you break down all these things, they're all made up of the same parts, but the value that comes from the experience is completely different. And that's what people pay for. Yes, they pay for the parts. I get it. So don't email me. Don't call me and tell me, no, no, people just pay for the stuff. No, no, I get it. They pay for the parts. They pay for the screen and the battery and the processor to be in a nice handheld device that they can use. But the truth is, the ability to be profitable over and above a competitor is truly based on the value and the experience that you provide. So you can get a higher margin per product if you can do a better job than your competitors at delivering value to your customer. So back to the example of the Galaxy making $250 a, a set um, or a phone, an iPhone, generating $500 every time they sell, I would sooner be the business that's generating $500 a phone with less customers, if that was the case, than trying to do an all-out sprint to get as many customers as I can at $250 because it's not, the, it's not the best leverage for the resources that our business has. For the amount of employees 
for the amount of, of overhead that we have. We want to generate the most money possible, not spread ourselves thin and, and get on a, um, on a hamster wheel of just constantly searching for the next customer, the next customer, because our margins aren't big enough to keep our business going. So if all of that is a little bit too nerdy for you, if you're running a smaller, medium-sized business, then the thing to think about is whenever you feel pressure from your competition and you're, you are thinking about dropping your price, before you do that, try to figure out if there's a different way to still get the same price, but to add more value or to improve the experience so that customers don't 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 um, have the price takeaway from um, from you know your margin. Um, price is really important. That's what you're competing on. You're going to get in trouble because you're not going to be able to make it. It's a race to the bottom. You've got to be thinking the other way. You've got to be thinking, okay, if that's our price, if that's the margin that we want to run our business or need to run our business and then want in terms of profitability, then how do we build a product or a service that creates value through an incredible experience for our customers? Something to think about today. Have a great day. I will be back here again, giving you some more headlines to think about.